Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you what happens or how to fix if you go into reconcile your bank statement and the beginning balance doesn't match the ending balance from your previous month's bank statement. Okay, so I'll show you. <laughs> you come in here, you click on reconcile to reconcile your bank statement, right? Your normal process, you come in, choose which account you're reconciling, checking account, it tells you it's last reconciled on 12 31 2015. All right, and then you look, statement date, 131-2016. A lot of times people just glance over this beginning balance, but be sure and check it. Uh, so right now, beginning balance, 32-448-56. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to put in my ending balance of $100 just for now. Um, and I'm going to move on, okay? Now, again, why I say check this, verify the beginning balance matches your bank statement, okay? Because right now, if I look at my bank statement, and if you watch the other video, my ending balance as of 12-31-2015 was actually $32,403.56. All right. So I notice beginning balance doesn't match. What am I supposed to do? There's a couple things you can do. You can come in here to your locate discrepancies button right from the screen here. All right. Um, in here, you can say, I want to see the discrepancy report. All right, so I can go in also to reports, banking, reconciliation discrepancy report. Okay, I'll go ahead and do it from here. So it gives me a report and it tells me right there on the screen what's missing. All right, so when I say my locate discrepancies, again, it's going to tell me my beginning balance. Now, as I said to you, I, uh, let me go in here and go to the calculator. Computer's deciding to run slow all of a sudden. <laughs> Always happens on demos, right? Okay, so I'm gonna go into the calculator here and I see that the account says I have a beginning balance of 32,448.56 and my bank statement says I should have had a beginning balance of 32,403.56. Difference of $45. All right, so I'm looking for $45. What happened? $45. So I see this re reconciliation discrepancy report again. It's here, and notice, oh, it's got $45. It's telling me that there was a bill payment check that had been reconciled before. It was uh, last modified at 12.04 p.m. on 12.15, and it was deleted. Okay, of course, if you zoom in on this, you can't because it, it's a deleted transaction. I can't show you, you know, I can't show you all the detail of it. But you can come in and do a couple things. First, you can modify this report and you can, you can show who was it last modified by. So it'll show you who deleted it. Sometimes it's great to see who deleted it because then you can go talk to the person. Other times when it's you who deleted it, <laughs> then it's not so great, right? <laughs> so it was me who deleted it. I did it on purpose for this demo, but you can see who deleted it. The other thing that you can see is you can come in and see which accounts that it hit if it was a single line item account. Let's see here. Da, da, da. Ba, 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 ba. Let's see if it's, I'd have to find it real quick. Uh, um, you see the split in the account, so okay. Uh, if I look over here, I didn't have any of that information in here probably because it was to multiple areas or actually in this case it was a bill payment check okay so you can see some more information it was a check to loop plumbing i see the number i can go in and figure out what happened why was it deleted and if it wasn't supposed to be deleted i can recreate it all right so i go do my research i talk to the admin i say why did you delete this figure it out and I find out that it was an accident that it was deleted and I just need to redo it. So I'm going to go to vendors, pay bills. Uh, I'm going to go down to Lou Plumbing. All right, there's that $45 bill. And I see that it had been dated on 1215 before. So I'm going to go ahead and date it 1215. And I'm going to assign a check number to it because obviously I don't need to print a check. It's already been printed. It's already cleared the bank. I'm going to say pay select the bills. And it was check number 505. Okay, so I essentially recreated this, okay? Now, there's two things that I can do. I can undo the last 
reconciliation, which will completely unreconcile the last reconciliation, and I can redo the last one. Okay. The other thing that is a choice to do is I can go in and say banking reconcile, and I'm going to reconcile checking, and I'm going to reconcile it for 12, 31, 15 again. Instead of putting, you know, the game balance is 32, 4, 48, 56, I'm going to put in there the 32, 4, 0, 3.56. Say continue. Check mark off that 45 so that the difference goes down to zero. And say reconcile now. Now when I do that, I'm just going to look at the display detail report. Notice how, because a lot of people think, oh, well, it's only going to show you that, that one $45 payment. No. Since it was 4 12 31 2015, it's going to show me everything that was reconciled 12 31 15. Okay, everything's in here, including where is it? 505, including that $45 check. All right, so it kind of just throws it right back into the previous reconciliation. All right, so there's no, although you can go in and completely unreconcile the previous one. If you've spotted it, you know what the problem is, you can just throw it into that reconciliation by redoing that reconciliation the way I just showed you. Not a full redo, just a partial redo. Also, if I go look at here, uh, if I go look at my previous reconciliations here, and I look at the checking, see, it'll still, even though I reconciled twice for 1231, it only includes the one. Because if I'm going to look at the detail here, again, it's going to show me the detail of everything that had been reconciled as of 1231.15, even though I did two separate reconciliations to catch up that $45. I hope that makes sense. I know it's a little confusing. Okay. So that's how you can go in and check to see uh, if there's a reconciliation discrepancy. So now when I go to reconcile my checking account, it's going to tell me it was last reconciled on 1231. And I have the beginning balance now correct because it's now 32,403,56. And I can put in my ending balance and continue with my January reconciliation.